Hello, everybody. And I'm here to talk to you about the adoption of the UN Sustainability Development Goals in the U University of James Joseph in Macau. First, let's see where Macau is located. We are a small city in the southeast uh, of China, and Macau is best known for its gaming industry. It has been a, a Portuguese concession in China for almost 500 years before it was handed back to China in 1999. Um, and of course, uh, the tourism and gaming industry is a very important area for uh, the economy in Macau. In fact, Macau has outperformed Las Vegas since 2005 in gaming revenue. It's also important to say that Macau uh, has fortunately been uh, a safe place since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and indeed, we have not had a locally transmitted case for almost one year now. Uh, still, because Macau is heavily dependent on uh, the tourism and the gaming industry, uh, with the travel restrictions brought about by COVID-19, uh, this has created some, uh, some economic downturn. And one of the strategies that has been pointed as a solution is the investment in higher education. In fact, Macau has 10 higher education institutions and uh, the University of St. Joseph is one of them. One of our distinctive features is that we are a liberal art institutions, um, unlike most of, our, um, of the other higher education institutions in Macau, which are mostly devoted to STEM. So, we have uh, six faculties, uh, the social and sciences and education faculty, arts and humanities, business and law, religious studies and philosophy and science and environment. And uh, we are a small institution with 1,200 students, but we are highly diverse. So we have students from over 42 nationalities. And if you account for uh, our staff and our professors, we have uh, people in our institution from over 60 different nationalities. So uh, let's talk about how USJ became uh, interested and involved in uh, sustainability in general and in uh, the uh, SDGs in particular. Well, uh, one of our biggest motivation was the rankings. Indeed, uh, when uh, we went to career fairs or uh, to other promotional events, um, a recurrent question of our students is, was what ranking is your institution in? And uh, looking at the available rankings, uh, while the Wall Street Journal, of course, does not cover Macau, uh, also because we are a very small institution, we do not meet the requirements in terms of number of publications uh, to be in the world university ranking, but indeed uh, the impact ranking, which uh, is looking at how universities and their uh, activities are impacting the different SDGs uh, was something that was very interesting for us. Um, and indeed, uh, we from there developed a strategy on how to tackle and how to invest and promote um, this, um, this uh, activities that are um, tackling some of the issues of the SDGs. So, First of all, we decided to examine past and present activities which have a positive social impact to determine which SDG areas we are best contributing to. Second, 
to delineate strategies in order to convert one-off initiatives into structured programs that extend over time and have specific objectives and outcomes. And third, to identify future SDG areas for improvement in terms of research, intervention, education, and community outreach. So when we looked at the goals we were best contributing to, we decided to focus on number one, no poverty, number four, quality in education, number 14, life below water, uh, number 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions, and number 17, partnerships for the goals. We did this both because these were the areas in which we uh, were uh, contributing most to, but also uh, because regarding the partnerships for the goals, the higher education ranking um, includes this as a mandatory goal, and we will talk about this uh, later on. So looking at the activities that we were already involved in, uh, we noticed that we have a prison outreach program. We have also um, a lot of activities which are targeting the promotion of nature-based solutions and mangrove protection. Uh, in fact, these activities have caught the eyes of uh, the BBC, which included us in one of their documentaries about uh, higher education, which was shown at the International Association of Universities. Um, also, our campus was designed recently um, and uh, most of its features um, include nature and um, environmentally sustainable uh, practices, such as, as you can see, the inclusion of a green roof, the inclusion of solar panels, uh, among other features. So we decided to focus on those SDGs. Second, our uh, strategy was also to convert initiatives into structured programs. And this includes not only taking one-off initiatives and, um, and uh, changing them and transforming them into long-term programs, but also uh, taking um, care in the way that we communicate the initiatives that we have available in our institutions. So we created a web page uh, featuring our environmental action programs and uh, also our uh, social outreach program. So in terms of environmental action, we have uh, recycling programs, which were already being carried out, but were also extended by developing partnerships with uh, ONGs operating in this area within the community, a food waste program, um, and uh, also water management and environmental conservation. Regarding uh, the social outreach, we uh, created um, a social entrepreneurship uh, program with a number of activities which um, aim to develop uh, nonprofit uh, social enterprises. And also uh, we invested heavily in, our, in the area of inclusive education by uh, conducting a number of public lectures, as well as other community outreach activities. Uh, and we organized uh, our financial assistance and improved the way it was communicated to the students in order for them to have a better knowledge of what were the funds and scholarships that were available to them and also how they could um, submit and uh, enroll to this type of uh, uh, funding. Also, um, we target some activities in the area of health and well-being and uh, on partnerships and collaborations, both for the social outreach and for the environmental program. So in terms of results, uh, we have recently received uh, the results of 
the higher education impact ranking. Uh, and uh, indeed, we feel that this was a very uh, interesting first uh, effort. Uh, USJ was uh, considered on the top 600 of 1,115 uh, universities from 94 countries and religions worldwide. Um, um, locally, we were considered the fourth in China and the first in Macau. So, of course, this is just the first effort and the first time that our institution um, submits uh, to the higher education impact ranking, but this is already um, we were already uh, happy and excited with these results. Uh, looking at the different uh, SDGs that we uh, apply to, we were considered 44th uh, in the world uh, in terms of quality education. Um, between 100 and 200 in life below water, between 200 and 300 in our no poverty um, activities, uh, 300 and 400 in terms of peace, justice, and strong institutions. And then uh, regarding the partnerships for the goals, this was our worst score uh, between 400 and 600. So one of the issues, of course, that we want uh, to do from now on is to uh, see what are the SDGs that we are performing well so that we can continue to invest in those, but also what are the SDGs in which we are uh, performing in a way that can be improved. Um, and in general, uh, this process has led us to implement measures and publish context that we planned to do to anyway, but it was done in a way that allows us now to benchmark against other universities. Um, as a third area, we um, identified future SDGs areas for improvements. So we are planning next year to focus on this issue of peace, justice and strong institutions by reviewing some of our policies. And uh, also, of course, on the partnerships for the goals uh, by, um, by joining different associations and international um, and international efforts of collaboration. Uh, for instance, we have joined the SDG Accord. Um, and in the future, we aim to also include uh, our application for gender equality and decent work uh, and economic growth. So thank you so much for your attention. I hope that uh, as the example of USJ is uh, useful for you to uh, also think about different areas where your institution can contribute to the SDGs. Thank you so much.